Hey lovely fam, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Dominique. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and join my lovely fam here on YouTube. Y'all, it is Vlogtober day five. As you can see, it is nighttime. I did not record all day, but I did not want to let the day go by without recording. So I figured I'm going out solo night out. And I decided to record myself getting ready for the night. So right now, I just decided to like straighten up my bed for the purpose of this video. So my bed wouldn't be so messy. Yeah. So now I am pulling out all of my undergarments, socks, and what I'm going to wear tonight. Um, it was a really chill night, and it was actually cold outside, so I ended up just putting on some black leggings and a tank top and my jacket to throw on top of it. you guys so here are the products i'm using for my shower i have the native cashmere and rain i'm still using that dove buddy scrub my foot scrub and my dove bar soap um i like using the dove liquid and bar soap but the bar soap go a long way between me and the kids that liquid goes super fast um and also i have made a, a few of my old videos public again so definitely check out my videos so right now i am cleaning my ears i do this every time i get out the shower because of course i clean my ears in the shower but then after the shower i go with a q-tip and just kind of do that last sweep to make sure that they are squeaky clean <laughs> Now for lotioning up, I'm using my warm vanilla sugar and then I'm going to spray on my body spray after I finish getting dressed. Um, I also ended up using my Equate um, body oil um, as well. So I mixed that in with the lotion. Mm. going to be using this native deodorant this isn't the cucumber and mint this is the one that um i target accidentally gave me out of somebody else's order i actually really do like it and for me i and i will use this only because i'm not doing a lot like if you're doing a lot of like moving around sweating i would not recommend this deodorant because it does not block odor after a while um but with me just Going out, chill night, not doing much work. It was perfect. Always was a pleasant, pleasant. Stayed in the alley, yes, but you guessed it. Oh, oh, yeah, I got you. Too bad I'm bothering it. I'll be fine without you. Guess you found out all the mothers was about you. And now you're gonna waste your time chasing me. So now, lastly, I'm just brushing my teeth and doing my hair.
Just now you wishing I was with me living life so true Even on your friend that I was cool They don't know that you be on that bullshit Even though they didn't think that I was so good But I ain't tripping, just don't push it It's cool, I'ma focus on my vision Cause you only get one pass I'm out the house now. Micah ended up calling me, but then he called me, but then um he got distracted and just put the phone down and just left me on the phone. <laughs> like, really, boy? So, I'm out the house. Um, I ain't do nothing to my hair. I just put my little black wrap on. Got the puff ball sticking out. If I got my wrap on, wasn't going too much. Cause I'm not gonna be out. Oh wait, roll these windows up, cause y'all will not be able to hear me. I don't even know if y'all be able to hear me, cause sometimes when I edit and I and I'm in a car, it has that rumbling sound. I don't know why, but yeah, I'm not gonna be out long. At least I don't. Yeah, I'm not gonna be out long. It's currently 9:11. I didn't do an intro, so hey, lovely fam. Welcome to Vlogtober Day 5. Y'all, it's late at night. <laughs> I did not vlog at all today. Um, all I did today was orders, Uber Eat orders, and laundry orders. I had two laundry orders that I did today. And my, my plan was to record myself doing this stuff. But I had the boys with me. And it was a lot. Um, their dad told like I text their dad yesterday so right now they're with their dad I text their dad yesterday to make sure he's still coming to get them this weekend because he didn't come get them last weekend he had to work so I texted him to see if he's coming this weekend he said he was going to come after work I asked him what time that was going to be around of course he never gave me a time and then today even after the kids texted him, seeing when he was gonna come get them, he still didn't give a time. Um, so, I think like around three, I started on my laundry order. So from, I left out the house around nine. So from nine to two, I was doing Uber Eats orders. And then I had an order at Target and I went and got them a Lunchable. And then went to the gas station, got them some chips and slushies. So that's what they had for lunch. So then that was about three o'clock. Three o'clock, I started on laundry orders. And then I got back to the house around five. Um, around six o'clock, he texted me and told me he'll be on his way soon. Still no exact time of when he was gonna actually be there. But then he asked me, did the boys eat? And I was like, no, they just had lunch around three. So he was, I was like, uh, I was like, but if I need to make them something, I can. And then he was like, if you need to, shaking my head. So he made it like a big deal that I didn't feed them dinner or I wasn't fixing them dinner, which I didn't see the point of me fixing them dinner since he was going to be on his way soon. I'm like, okay, maybe he can just pick them up something. So I was like, you know what? I was like, well, I can put some, I can make them some chicken nuggets and fries. But the boys, I asked them, I said, um, are y'all hungry? Do y'all want this? And they was like, no. They just wanted some fruit. So I cut them up some strawberries and grapes. But I went on and made them some chicken nuggets and fries. And I told him, I said, I'm gonna make them some chicken nuggets and fries. But they said they're not hungry, but they can take it with them. Y'all, so it was about, it was seven o'clock at this point. It was seven o'clock. 
and I had the I was getting ready to leave out to go drop off one of the laundry orders and pick up another one and I was gonna go ahead and leave out because I still had no idea when he was gonna actually get there but as I was pulling out the driveway he was pulling up so the food wasn't done um, so I told her, I was like, the food not, the fries not done. The chicken nuggets were done, the fries weren't. I was like, the fries aren't done, but you can just throw them back in the oven and then just get that to them. And then Micah came back in the house as I was packing the stuff up. Micah came back in the house and was like, daddy said he's going to pick us up something for dinner. <laughs> so I'm packing the stuff up and I'm going to the door to, you know, go tell them bye since you know I didn't put I didn't wasted this food well hopefully it's not wasted hopefully it's still fine I went on and put it in the refrigerator and then hopefully I can I can just put it back in the air fryer and finish it and then they can have it tomorrow when they get back but I felt like that was like a waste of my time but um but as I was going back to the doors so, so I can tell him bye and stuff he was already pulling off I'm like, okay, <laughs> like whatever. So that was seven o'clock. I came out on at seven o'clock. Um, I went and dropped. I went. So once they left, I went and dropped off my first. I had two laundry orders. I dropped the first one off, and then I have one that I picked up tonight that I'm gonna start on tomorrow. And then I had to go back home, pack up the second laundry order, drop that off. And then I got back to the house around 8.30. And then that's when I started vlogging me, getting ready for the night. Chill, solo night. Um, a much needed break. Um, I had the kids <laughs> all day, every day. Well, thankfully, Mike is in school. So, like, his first week of school was great. Um, I know last video, yesterday um i was reading y'all their notes from school so remember micah said that he was throwing something in the trash can no that was that was a lie he was not throwing up in the trash can so the teacher i spoke to his teacher when i went to go pick him up and she was saying that he had got upset because he couldn't do something and like he like swung at her but he didn't hit her he just swung at her like he was going to hit her and um but she was like, after that, he was fine. Um, but other than that, they said, other than that, he's been doing great. Um, so that's good. I'm just glad he's finally able to get through a whole school day. Because when he was at the therapeutic day program down in North Carolina, like, he had to be abbreviated. Because, like, they were literally calling me every day. And I'm like... My mom, mainly, she's like, well, ain't they supposed to be able to, like, deal with this? Like, the perp the point of him going there so that he can be somewhere for a certain amount of time. Like, I can't work. I can't do nothing. <laughs> um, so, because that there, the hours were 9 to 2. But his schedule was abbreviated to 9 to 10 for the longest. And then before we actually, he left, got discharged from the school, it was 9 to 12. So he never actually completed a whole day. Whereas here at this school, he's there from 8.15 to 3.15. So much longer. <laughs> and he's doing amazing. And I'm so happy. I'm excited about it. Thank God that he's able, he's, he's liking where he's at. And it's benefiting, benefiting him. So that's amazing. And if he keeps it up, if this keeps it, if he keeps this up, and he's doing good, when we have his next review, hopefully they can they have a date in mind of when he can actually go back to regular school. And that would be great because I'm hoping he can get back into regular school next year. So then that way. Him, Micah, and Uriah, because Uriah, I will be signing him up for pre-K next year. They'll all be at the same school, and they'll be perfect, because everybody will be going and coming at the same time. <laughs> Whereas right now, everybody is everywhere in different places right now. Um, like Uriah, I'm in the process of getting him into Head Start. Um, I submitted all the documents on third. 
I submitted all the documents on Thursday. She emailed me back Friday and told me that somebody will be reaching out to me within two weeks to schedule his assessment. But the whole process could take up to 90 days. So, yeah, but hopefully we can, hopefully it don't take that long and we can get him going. Because, yeah, he needs somewhere to go as well. Because he's really hyperactive. He needs something to do. And driving around a car with me doing orders is not it. <laughs> so... Yeah, hopefully we can get him into something soon so he's learning and driving and getting all that energy that he has out. So. Thirsty. I've been, like, I've been so dehydrated. I've been trying to make sure I drink my water, drink my water, and I don't. I'm, ter I'm I've been horrible at drinking my water, like, I'm trying to get better with drinking my water. You're supposed to drink what, like eight bottles a day? I only drink like two. <laughs> that is terrible. So I be like super dehydrated. And then whenever I get out the shower, I be so hot. Like <laughs> I be so hot after getting out the shower. That's how I know I need to lose weight because I shouldn't be getting out the shower sweating. Like, I feel like I be, like, I literally sweat after getting out the shower, <laughs> like. Like, that's embarrassing. I don't even know why I'm telling you that. <laughs> 